What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Villain 7 Unlock Guide here. I have utilized a 120k aim team in the past as well as a Red Skull Hydra. But I know a couple of players have reached out to me in regards to making a video for the Baron Zemo Hydra team. Because of the fact that Baron Zemo now being available in the supply store for raids, um, he's very quite accessible. So we'll go ahead, we'll show you guys my roster here real quick and we'll dive right into the gameplay. Now first and foremost, Baron Zemo is going to be making up the core of this team with his immense damage. You can see here i have built him up quite a bit and don't be afraid you guys um burn zemo's an end game character so go ahead and actually spend freely on him because the higher you build him the more value he is going to provide for you later on in the game as well as him being also utilized in dark dimension 3 so you can see here on the left i don't actually have any t4s built up but i do have my tier 12 rating in addition to that i do have a level 4 iso 8 raider on him and with this this gives him the extra increase in health and again baron zemo is going to be doing the majority of the damage so that's that's why we want him built up as much as possible. Next, going to be his sidekick, just adding the additional damage. It is going to be Crossbones. As you can see here, I've loved him as much as I could for the levels there, but didn't want to push him up because I wanted to show you guys um, that you don't need to have him built up too much, especially if you're newer in the game and you're just trying to push through the nodes to unlock ultimately Hella. As you can see, I gave Crossbones a level 2 healer just to have some additional sustainability and healing. And the key thing here is just making sure you guys have the passive upgraded because you can see here that by upgrading it, he is actually going to gain additional health um, if Baron Zemo's on the team. Next, we're going to also add in here Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, similar to Crossbones, that passive expert assassin, he's also going to gain that additional 10% health if Baron Zemo is an ally, so you bet we want to fully take advantage of that. Uh, Winter Soldier, not built up too high, but you know what? Just the extra damage is going to be nice, and a level 1 healer, Iso Wade. Uh, feel free to put it more on him if you want him to be more survivable, but really, for these three nodes, we're just going to be focusing on really just getting by and getting to Hela ultimately. Uh, last but not least, I am planning to actually bring on Hydra Sniper. Normally, he is slotted with the Red Skull Hydra, but you know, his abilities are just too good to go unnoticed. For instance, um, his ability here getting the two offense up and it can actually apply to two random Hydra or Red, Sky, Red Skull allies. You bet we're going to fully take advantage of that, especially if it lands on Baron Zemo and we could fully utilize that offense up to really blow out our targets. So, with that being said, let's dive right into the gameplay. So starting off here, you guys, um, we're going to see that our Baron Zemo is in the middle as well as uh, having Sniper and Winter Soldier on to the left as well as Crossbones to the right. And the reason being is because if Crossbone gets attacked, um, he's going to be able to just take damage alone and no one else around him was going to get attacked. So that's very, very good for us. And, and really having Baron Zemo in the middle, at least he's going to get attacked, keeping the other two alive to really provide us with that supplementary um, uh, damage and benefits if needed. So first and foremost, you can see at the beginning, uh, Baron Zemo's uh, charge effect actually does activate. So we want to recharge that by activating Baron Zemo's ultimate on Miss Marvel. You can see it almost takes her out, which is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. We're actually going to go ahead now and just use Winter Soldier's basic to finish off Miss Marvel. And keep in mind, you might need a little bit of luck to get this right, because sometimes I found that uh, the beginning, it didn't land the way it did with uh, Baron Zemo, but that's quite all right. Um, you can see here, I'm actually going to save the special here because you we get to utilize a uh, offense up. And because these guys are almost all dead, I am actually going to save it real quick here. Hopefully, Sniper doesn't fall before the next wave because um, that having that offense up with Baron Zemo is absolutely huge. You can see here, Baron Zemo, once again, with his uh, ultimate, just finishing him off. I am actually going to use his special here to see if we can take down Yo-Yo. It will be fortuitous for us. If not, we're going to activate Crossbones Ultimate. And you can see yo yo's still up, but that is quite all right because I want to see now if I can just go ahead and use Winter Soldier. I am going to ult there. And it does work out. So now we're going to go ahead and use the special here for Sniper, giving the offense up to Baron Zemo. Unfortunately, he already utilized his ultimate, but that's okay. We're going to utilize at least his increased offense up to actually attack one of the uh, the Salter guys here. So by taking one of them down, it does help us greatly because, you know, um, even with our Baron Zemo having a lot of uh, damage and health, these guys still hit really hard and uh, Medic is actually going to heal. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to attack another Assaulter here. I am going to actually taunt because I feel like, you know, our team is going to need a little bit of protection here. I'm just going to focus on one of the Assaulters. The key is really just being able to kind of target and have the continuous damage. You can see how much the offense up actually helps us there. And Baron Zemo is really, really weak right now. So that's exactly why we taunted. Uh, very, very fortuitous for us. We're going to resume now attacking the Trooper. And hopefully we can take at least one of them out. Because like I said, um, not a big deal. However, if uh, if the medic is still there because she can heal. But um, she doesn't do a lot of damage. So that's why we're not really even caring about her. She's going to heal regardless. And honestly speaking, it's just going to be timing at this point. So beautiful. Another special there. Um, hopefully. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to activate Baron Zemo's ultimate once again. 
doesn't finish him off, but we can do that. And you know what? Uh, Manic is just barely alive right now. So we're now we're gonna go ahead. We're in a really great position. A little, you know, a little sketchy here with the low HP, but you know what? That's quite all right. As you can see, just got by with a little bit of luck. So that's what I mean. Um, RNG does play a significant factor, but glad I was at least able to capture the three star here. I was able to just get one or two star in the previous attempts. So there you guys have it. That is the three star unlock of Baron Zemo and the Hydra team there. And you bet I'm gonna make videos next going for the villains uh, seven two as well as seven three going forward. Thank you as always, you guys. Hope this was able to provide some insight. And again, Baron Zemo is available in the raid store. He's quite, he's very, very accessible, which is nice about him. So thank you as always, you guys. And I'll, as always, I'll see you in the next one.